live currently. I've seen cars blow up, but I've never seen a car like this. Next to a train. She was like, help, help, I need help. Soaring like a plane. I just can't believe it's up there. This was no typical. You got to see this. Automobile. Her girlfriend calls me and says, go help Lou. I go help Lou, and I come look at the accident. I was like, I can't help you. You're going to have to dial 911. Within minutes, police blocked off Bronson Street. That's a very interesting call. As firefighters use posts and blocks to secure a car 12 feet up. I was scared. With a woman trapped on the road, less traveled. Uh, somehow she got on the tracks and came down here, tried to turn around and go back and drove off the edge. Vibrations from passing trains didn't help the matter, so route police shut down all traffic before freeing the woman. Come on, Lou. Come on. This was Lucinda Doolittle's first railroad adventure. I'll be like, only my mom would do that. With plans for it to be her last. I don't normally drive next to a train, so I just figured I missed the road and I figured I'd just take it, but I didn't realize it would wind up the way it did. But as for a way to take it down, just thank big rigs and nighttime towing. Using a steel cable, this Buick LeSabre was pulled to safety with quite a tall tail. I've been known for doing some pretty stupid stuff. For years to come. My kids will be telling it then. <laughs>